my name is Ruth from Gothic Decay and as I'm sure you know by now I produce work that looks like this. So in the previous four videos I think it is now I've shown you how to get to this stage here. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to put some basic colouring in and start putting all the textures in. Now all the things I use here are just what I happen to have. So use whatever you've got, whatever you will work for you. You don't have to copy everything exactly, you don't have to worry about not having exactly the same things that I do. Just um, just enjoy the process and kind of get some ideas from this. And I must excuse the, the colour of my fingernails because yes I've been doing something else and I'm terribly messy. So here we go. Now something I always find personally is I get scared. I see this and I think I don't want to make any, I don't want to mess it up. So what I always start with is this, which is a very, very ancient, grubby um, stamp with lettering on it. It just means that when you start, you kind of, you're not trying to be too photographic because you've already made a mess by, well, you've already marked your um, fabric by putting the stamp on there and it's not directly copying something that you see in the photograph. So it's a nice kind of... Um, compromise of sort of making it uh, I don't know you've already you've started kind of mess messing with this fabric but um, not trying to make the picture too realistic so just stamp all over it really now obviously you don't want to do this into places that are going to be very bright and if it comes out all won wonky then that's absolutely fine see that almost didn't come out at all maybe we'll try a different colour because I think maybe the black is starting to get a little bit past its best. There we go. It's only very, very subtle. I don't know if you can see. Very subtle, but it's all there and it all adds nice new textures and things. And like I say, you've, you've started then. It kind of takes the fear away that I get. I certainly get it anyway. See that one's come out better. It's nothing that you're going to actually read, um, nothing that you're going to really properly see in the final work, just again extra little bits and pieces of texture. Some of it com comes out quite nicely, like this bit, and other bits you can barely see at all, but that's absolutely fine. There we go. So you've already started now and that's the main thing. So that's well, what I find helps me anyway. So this tech, this stencil here can be quite handy, it's a little um, like brick texture. Again you can make your own stencil if you want to, you don't have to use it, whatever, you're, whatever you fancy. Just remember that um, don't make it too obvious because you can end up with, um, you don't want this to be photographic because I'm never going to be able to create all the perfect perspectives and all that kind of thing with something like this. So just, it's a little kind of hint. And again, I'm being messy using my fingers, so... I apologise, but I kind of think get stuck in. It means you have to wash your hands afterwards. Well, oh no. So that's why my fingernails are green. And covered in spatter. So you're just trying to create a little sort of hint of brickwork. You're not trying to cover the whole thing and make it all look, um, you know, as I say, you don't want it to be photographic, just little hints of textures and colours. There we go. Um, now keep an eye on your source picture from here. I mean, obviously you're going to be making things up too, but just keep an eye that it all sort of makes sense. 
So now I was talking to you before about the um, windows. The windows are way, 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 way too dark. You want something... Oh, I can't get the lid off now. Oh, there we go. Something that's going to um, really draw your eye. So this is some white ink that I've borrowed from James. He does know. Um, now we need a smaller brush than that. More organised. There we go. So you could again use um, watercolours or um, acrylic paint that you've watered down a little bit. It doesn't have to be ink. This is something I need to uh, to work on a bit more actually. The um, trying to get a really good um, pale colour when you've gone a bit when things have gone a bit dark and you want it all to go back to what much paler colours to appear like with this, you know, you're not knocking back the colour or whatever it is they call it. Doesn't have to be exact. The scrappier the better. You don't want the little well you can if you want to do the proper um rectangular shape, but this is gothic decay after all and if it looks a bit scrappy and decayed, then all the better. Pull these little frilly bits out of the way. So now instantly you've got something that draws your eye. Even though it's not very square. And then the second window. Just down here. So you don't have to be a brilliant painter. Something like chalks might work well for this. Um, what else? Yeah, again, just whatever you've got, just try and sort of... This isn't all about rushing out and buying the latest gizmos and gadgets. This is just creating some nice new textures and colours. Oh, try and get the lid on that properly. And let's just leave that there for a minute. Now, my stairs are very dark so I'm going to try starting off with the black stamp pad and you'll see now why my stamp pads are always running out of juice but just rubbing the stamp pad on straight onto the fabric again means all kinds of weird and wonderful textures get picked up this might be see around here things like um, there might be threads in the background like here Picking up the texture, that's absolutely fine. See, I don't think that's going to be quite dark enough, so we'll get the Indian ink out. But what we will do is just put a little, little bases of dark around the outside. I think this black ink might be definitely past its best. So we'll try it with this one instead. Because it always looks better if the edges are darker. But you see that's picked up the texture from this here. So it's kind of got a little square bit on it. It's a bit weird, but well, we'll go with it. That's why nature helps. Creates all kinds of things that you'd never think of putting yourself. See, you now you can see I'm covered in brown as well. It's just me, I'm messy. So I thought that we could do for the, um, what's the word? Wallpaper, that's what I'm looking for. I've got a little stamp of a sort of fern type thing. So it's not meant to be photorealistic as I said. So we'll just add in some little, little bits of whatever the wallpaper pattern might be. It's only subtle, you don't want a big big flipping flower in the middle of everything. But just a little bit of, again, a bit of extra texture. There we go. 
So yeah, the steps are definitely going to need extra work on them. But this is what it's like when uh, when you're doing this sort of, as it were, live. You just don't, you just have to kind of work with what you're getting. You know, if, if this is too, uh, if this is too, um, too dark, well then just keep putting more colours into it to try and um, lighten it up. You know, extra chalk or some more ink or whatever it might be. So, you know, this to me isn't dark enough. So we should take the Indian ink. It is very, very dark indeed. So we'll move all these frilly bits again. You can chop them off if you want to. It's just uh, whatever works for you, really. Now I'm going to make this very dark because um, it adds extra contrast to the window. Again, let me just do it in a quite sort of scrappy way. And there's going to be stitch all over this too, so it doesn't have to be a masterpiece of colour. Just slap it on. Little angle. That way. You don't want just a big triangle of colour. Oops. Things have dripped. But we go with it. It's fine. It's not the kind of work you're trying to freak out on. You just take what you're given and run with it. So we shall now do the famous darkening of the edges. See, that's better. That's what we were after. Just seems to again focus the attention on the middle. Now I have a tendency to be very overexcited with this. I end up with a teeny tiny patch in the middle. It isn't just black. Gothic Vicar. Shall endeavour to try and keep some of it nice and light for you. That's where I join these bits up. And the famous last word is getting blacker and blacker. Gothic by name, gothic by nature. Now you can see why my cutting board is all kinds of different colours and shapes. Right, it wants much of this over here. Okay, just calm that down a little bit. Make that wall a bit black. Sorry if you can hear the cat in the background. It's a bit quick and rough and ready, but you get the idea. So there we go. Now we'll wait for that to dry and then um, we'll start doing some other bits to it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, feel free to pop along to gothicdecay.com for um, finished pieces of work. And um, be, feel free to subscribe to the channel, click the little notification bell and share this by all means so that everyone can have a look and see how they can make their own. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.